Area High School Gymnasium, where tonight a District 2 Quad A semifinal as the number three seed Millionaires of Williamsport take on the number two seed Hazleton Area Cougars right here on WYLN. Good evening and welcome to WYLN's coverage of the District 2 Boys High School Basketball Playoffs. I'm Marty Burns, joined by Joe DeMelfi, Jim Burns on stats. And Joey got a matchup tonight between uh, Williamsport and Hazleton area. And in just looking at the way this game may play out, whoever turns the ball up over the least and whoever wins the battle on the boards probably will come out on top. We're looking at a team that likes the transition game, Marty, Williamsport. They like to run, like to get the ball up the floor. You're looking at a team in, in Hazleton that's disciplined. They'll set their offense. It's going to be interesting to see if Hazleton will try to match the transition game with Williamsport. I don't think they will. I think they're going to come out, play ball control, and try to keep that score down. One of the players that will have the key responsibility of that is senior point guard Brian Fior for Hazleton area. We've seen it uh, through his years at Hazleton area high school. He's got to be able to hold on to that basketball and control for the Cougars. He sets the offense, Marty. When he does that, he, he can do it well, and he's going to have to do it very well tonight. As I said, when you look at Hazleton, they're well coached. Coach Slive's not going to get into a running ball game with Williamsport, I don't believe. He may try to go up tempo for a little bit, but he'll always go back to that ball control, move the basketball, try to look for that good open shot. And Joe, we talked about when we did Williamsport in the football season, team of athletes, a lot of familiar names on this basketball team as well. Uh, uh, they can run uh, exceptionally well. I uh, watched them uh, a couple of weeks ago on uh, television playing a team from the Lancaster, York area, and they definitely have some athletes. So it'll be an interesting matchup tonight. Williamsport will be in the red. Hazleton area in the white. There you see veteran Hazleton area coach Bruce Live. Brian Roebuck will tip for the Cougars with Jordan Parr for Williamsport. This game is underway. Williamsport controls the tip. Ronald Taylor with the basketball. Taylor gets it to Adam Walker. Jordan Parr. Now at the top, it's Leroy Joyner. Joyner will take the first shot, doesn't go. Tipped around and knocked out of bounds, and it'll be Williamsport basketball. Joyner has been the big scorer, especially in the last couple of games for Williamsport. And as we've seen all season, Russ Kanzler gets a defensive assignment. Kanzler, again, a great defensive player. We've seen him play a lot of leading scores very close. See if he can do a good job here. Turn it over. Gutsy with the steal from behind. Justin Gutsy. And a turnover. Hornier. Joyner on the wing. Thought about the three. Gives it out to Taylor. Joyner finds Park, cut him to the basket. Two nothing Williamsport. Hit it in. Good pass inside, Marty. Roebuck inside. He'll take the jumper. A little long with it. Jump ball. Position arrow will favor Hazleton area. The Cosmo to inbound. It's at the Fior and he is fouled on the play. I believe it's Cormier and that'll be his first. Tried to inbound it out to the mid-court line. Williamsport player went up for the ball, but body contact, first foul. Take the jumper. In and out doesn't go. And a rebound for Walker. Taylor had it tipped away by Gutsy. And Taylor will get it back. Great job athletically by Taylor going back up for that ball. Looked like he had lost it. Joiner for three. Loose ball. Picked up by the Cosmo. Side, doesn't get the shot to go. And here 
from the Millionaires. Looking for Walker, tip, and DeCosmo has it. Going for a good rebound by Joyner back down the floor, and they turned it over to Hazel. Fournier reached in after Pure was by him. into the Williamsport lineup. The Cosmos pass is stolen by Parr. He looks to push. Looking for Joyner. He got him. Doesn't go to Cosmo with the rebound. Strong rebound. Good job by the Cosmo going up. Robot to Fior. A timeout will be taken by Hazel Tenaria. Looks like Coach Live will take a 30-second timeout. We want to let you know that tonight's special sports presentation on WYLN is brought to you by Lincoln Manor Personal Care, where we strive to provide the best personal care to all. Lincoln Manor Personal Care, Lincoln Street, Hazleton, 455-1086. And by Forbo Flooring, manufacturers of floor covering, Forbo Flooring, located in the Humboldt Industrial Park. And by HOME, Home Medical Oxygen Equipment, Inc., specializing in home medical equipment, oxygen equipment, and orthotic fittings. Home Medical Oxygen Equipment, Church Street, Hazleton, 459-4300. Marty, we had the first basket at the 705 mark. It's 502 mark first quarter. We haven't had a basket since. The Cosmo picked up the triple, gives it to Fior. He gets double teamed, and it's stolen. Bellis doesn't go. Joyner rebound, and he is fouled. Joyner will be on the line to shoot two. Joyner's strong rebound went back up with it too much on the ball but he was fouled in the process. Foul is on Brian Fior, his first, team first. Joyner hits the first. Roebuck will sit down as number 24, J.R. Doyle checks in for the Cougars. But it seems like Hazleton having a hard time getting into a rhythm offensively right now. Strong defense by the Millionaires. Joyner goes two for two, and it's 4 nothing Williamsport. On the Stroman Mayor Bakery's first quarter scoreboard. Offensive put back for Gutsy, doesn't go, but he is fouled. He'll be going to the line to shoot two. on Adam Walker, his first team third. Gutsy <laughs> gets Hazel Tenary on the board. It's 4-1 Williams for approaching four and a half. Left in the opening quarter. Brandon DeCosmo knocks it out of bounds and remain with Williamsport. Marty, although it's 4-1 scoreboard, with the Williams score up, the game seems a little bit up-tempo, more up-tempo maybe than Coach Life wants it right now. Defensive stalwart for one of the early Hazel Tenaria High School teams under Bruce Lime. Fior 
finds Gutsy. His pull-up jumper is good. Justin Gutsy has all three Cougar points. They trail 4-3. Good pass by Pior to Gutsy. Gutsy lost his man. Another offensive foul. This time, J.R. Doyle takes the charge. The foul will be on Joyner. And the team fifth. Williamsport wants a 30-second timeout. WYLN bringing local sports home to you with the help of the following businesses. General Vending Company, full line vending service, General Vending, 454-4693. And by Gregory N. Matz, agent for State Farm Insurance. State Farm providing insurance and financial services to the greater Hazleton area. Gregory Matz, located in Harley, 454-1491. And by BNA Financial Services, located in Hazleton. Call Joe at BNA Financial Services today, 459 1845. On the Stroman Mayor Bakery scoreboard, 4 3, Williamsport leading with 4 1 remaining in the opening quarter. Again, Marty Williamsport, a lot of pressure on the inbound. Cosmo brings it up. Let's see the Fior to the Cosmo on the wing. He'll take the three and hit it. Brandon the Cosmo gives Hazel Perry a first lead at six to four. And a turnover. Welcome it back to the Cougars. One of the things we talk about is taking care of the basketball. Both teams need to do that well tonight in order to hang in there. by Bellis. Gets it across the timeline. Gutsy gives it back to Fior. Looking for Kanzler on the block. Fior to the Cosmo for three. GMP Communications, halftime stats. Jim Burns will compile those. They'll show back-to-back -back threes by Brandon to Cosmo and some booky here. It went off of the Cosmo out of bounds. And it remain with Williamsport. Walker is going to get a break. It's number 44, Brody Colvin checks into the Williamsport lineup. Joiner guarded by Kanzler. To Taylor on the wing. Joiner inside. Pump fake. Shot is up and good. Leroy Joiner has four. Nine, six. Hazel Tenario with the advantage on the Scrum and Mayor Bakery scoreboard. Hazel Tenario cannot afford to let Joiner get that ball inside. Mark. He's very strong under the basket. Gets up. Doyle gets it to Gutsy. Gutsy penetrates, finds Fior. He'll take a pull-up jumper. It's good. It's a three for Brian Fior. And it's 12-6 Cougars. Hazel Canary shooting the three ball very well. They're up by six. And give them credit. Williamsport tried to get an easy basket coming back. Hazel Canary got back well defensively. Joiner off the screen, still guarded by Kanzler. We've seen this, like we mentioned earlier. Russ Kanzler, outstanding man-to-man -man defender, shutting down the opponent's big offensive force. Joiner got about three screens there, but the shot was rushed as Gutsy helped out Kanzler, and Fior has it. Approaching a minute and a half left in the opening quarter. 12-6, Hazel Tenaria. Hazel Tenaria playing strong defense, forced a very bad three ball there. Six team fouls here in the first. Yeah. 
Marty Colvin took a chance, went for the steal, committed the foul in the process. Joyner's going to sit down. This is number... Two, Jones is in the lineup. Poaching a minute left and a six-point Cougar advantage. One minute left in the opening quarter. Kanzler to the floor. Closely by Taylor, gets it back to Fior. Gutsy, back to Fior. Hazel Tenari looks content to play for the last shot. Up six, half a minute left in the quarter. A screen by Gutsy. He gives it back to Fior. Approaching 20 seconds remaining. to Cosmo, penetrates to the basket, doesn't go, Kanzler with the rebound. And it goes out of bounds and it'll be Williamsport basketball. Hazel Tenari did a great job taking time off the clock. Cosmo goes to the basket, just missed it, but Kanzler went up and lost it at the last second. Williamsport has 9.8 seconds to get the ball down the floor. See the time remaining. Taylor pushes. Taylor will take the three. No good. Pars put back. Doesn't go into the first. Hazel Clary leads it 12 6. homeowners or auto insurance we've got you covered got you that's right the Demsco agency provides you with the protection you need as soon as you walk out that door whether you need life health homeowners boat or motorcycle insurance call Demsco we've got you covered, got you covered. if you're a good driver or not so good driver don't worry we'll give immediate coverage and all kinds of insurance plus available discounts and combo coverage so call 455-8748 the Demsco agency we've got you covered, got you covered. CableTheft.com was launched a little more than a year ago. In that time, thousands of honest subscribers like yourself have logged on and anonymously submitted over 12,000 cable theft leads. Cable theft is a crime that affects everyone, whether it be through increased service calls or disruption of signal. It can even interfere with or disrupt your high-speed cable modem. Report cable theft anonymously at CableTheft.com. Gymnasium for Borough Area High School on the Barber Ford of Hazleton. Second quarter scoreboard. Hazleton area up 12-6. The difference, two threes in the first by Brandon DeCosmo. Marty from the floor. Uh, Hazleton's four for nine. Williamsport two for ten. Three-point range, three for four for Hazleton area. 0 for three for Williamsport. Hazleton area six rebounds. Williamsport three turnovers. Hazleton area three. Williamsport five. Williamsport starts the second quarter with the basketball. In the red going from right to left. Original starting five is in. Joyner, Walker, Parr, Taylor, and Sean Cormier, number 20, playing with two personals. Hazel Canary starts with Doyle, Kanzler, Gutsy, DeCosmo, and Fior. Coming up at the half, the GMP Communications halftime stats. We invite you to stay tuned to that. We still have a full quarter of basketball here. Williamsport with the ball, down six. They're showing some patience here. Keeping their offense on the perimeter, Marty, right now. Joiner. Taking it right to the basket is Walker, and he is fouled. Adam Walker will be going to the line to shoot two, the 6'5 senior. Walker, good move to the basket. Deep penetration and fouled in the act of shooting. That was on J.R. Doyle, his first team second. Winner of this game, 
will advance to the district championship on Saturday against the winner of Scranton Abington Heights. The loser season is over. We were talking about that in 4A, Marty. Unlike the other divisions, the, uh, the loser will go home. And in 4A, only the district champion will advance to the state tournament. Walker goes one out of two. 12-7, Hazel Tenario with the lead. And almost stolen by Cormier. Hazel Tenario will have it back. 6.53 left in the half. Hazel Tenario led by Brandon DeCosmo with six, have a 12-7 lead. And Cormier will sit down as Bellis checks back in. Hazeltonary offense finds Kanzler had it stolen away by Jordan Parr, and that's tipped away by Kanzler. Great hustle oh. by Kanzler. Defensive play of the game so far. To Cosmo for three. Brandon DeCosmo, three threes, gets a nine on the night, and it's 15-7 Cougars. Cosmo with the three, then a strong rebound. The Ors jumper is good. And all of a sudden, is up to 11. You saw it on the Barber Ford of Hazelton scoreboard. 18-7, Hazelton area with the lead. And it's been by the three-point ball. Three threes for the Cosmo, two for Fior, accounting for 15 of the Cougar 18. Trying to get some motion in that offense. Walker is fouled underneath, and he'll be going back to the line to shoot two. Williams were a little frustrated offensively, more they're trying to get a little motion in the offense. Get the ball inside, but right now, Hazel Tenario defensively doing a great job of keeping Green Sports offense on the perimeter. I mentioned it before, but just can't seem to get a good look at the basket. The Cosmo picked up the foul, his first team third. Walker, this is the first. J.R. Doyle will sit down. Ryan Roebuck back in for the Cougars. Offensive rebound for Taylor. Takes the jumper for three off back rim, rebounded by Fior. On the Barber Ford of Hazelton, second quarter scoreboard. 18-7, Hazelton area with the lead. Gutsy in the corner. Brings it to the top over to Fior. Swung to the Cosmo. He tried to go four for four. Gutsy an offensive rebound. Put back, doesn't fall. And it is rebounded by Williams. Horton, here they come in transition. Taylor to Bellis. Shot doesn't go in a blocking foul. It's going to be called a big foul here, Joe. Two personals on Brian Fjord. Yeah, well, the other thing, Marty, that transition, Williams brought down the floor very quickly. Had the good look at the basket. Foul was called. Bellis goes to the line. Was the second on Fjord, fourth team foul. Senior, 6-1 to shoot two. Marty, right now, Williamsport is three for seven from the line. Number 55, Michael Alston into the Williamsport lineup, replacing Walker. As we've seen earlier, you've got to make your free throws. Bellis doesn't get it to go. Kanzler with the rebound. Under five minutes left in the half, an 11-point Cougar lead. To Cosmo with the basketball. Finds Gutsy, guarded closely by Taylor. Guarded right now, the game's set up. Abelton's favor, they're up by 11. They, they can take some air out of the ball here. 432 left, second quarter. Got 
Kelsey on the wing to Kanzler. Swung to Fior. He's guarded closely by Bellis. Fior will take the pull-up jumper, doesn't go. Tip, and it remains with the Cougars. Looks like J.R. Doyle is back in, as you see Roebuck sitting down for Hazel Tenaria. Kanzler on the baseline. Kicks it out to Gutsy, and he'll bring it back out. Finds Fior, he's pressured by Bellis. To Cosmo, take a three, short, rebounded by Parr. Pushed ahead and out of bounds. Williamsport turnover. Tried to get the ball down the floor very quickly. Threw it away, Marty. We're going to have a immediate timeout with Hazel Tenaria leading 18-7. This evening's live televised coverage of boys basketball quad A semifinal at WYLN is brought to you by Craig's Tire and Auto Service Center, your hometown service station for 57 years. Craig's Tire and Auto Service Center, 620 East Diamond Avenue, Hazelton, 455-3801. And by John Cooligan's son, Inc., Notary Republic. Tags, titles, all of your notary needs. John Cooligan's son, West Hazelton. 455-4185. And by the law office of Christopher B. Slusser, PC. Butler Drive, Sugarloaf, 788-9529. And we want to thank all of our fine sponsors bringing us live. District 2 Quad A semifinal from Berwick Area Gymnasium. And Joe, while we got a moment, our director tonight, Joe Martin, probably doing his last broadcast for us. Is, uh, this Friday will be his last day at WYLN, going on to the beautiful state of Nevada. Wonderful time of year to be in Nevada, buddy. And we want to thank Joe for all his great years of service here at WYL. It's been a pleasure working with him, not only on the sports telecast, but he directs all of our other programming on WYLN. And uh, Joe will be missed, and we wish him luck in Nevada. Yeah, and I, again, we wish Joe the best of luck, and uh, I'm sure he'll be successful. 3.44 left in the opening half. Hazel Tenaria inbounding. Justin Gutsy, guarded closely by Taylor. Nice little crossover eludes Taylor and gets it to Fior. Gutsy over to Fior. And I believe we're going to have a, ball, a foul away from the ball against Williamsport. That'll put Hazel Tenaria on the free throw line. Brutney called it on. I thought he called that on Joyner, uh, Marty. And he did, and that's two personal fouls on Leroy Joyner, seventh team foul. J.R. Doyle to the line for a one and one. J.R. Doyle, a senior. It's the first, he'll get another. And Joe, he's one of those seniors on this Cougar team that, uh, you know, you don't see a lot of points going on the board, but he does the little things for Coach Live. No, not a lot of points in the board. But I'll tell you what he does. He plays defense, Marty. He passes the ball well. He's an important part of this basketball team. Doyle hits both with three and a half left in the half. It's a 13-point Cougar lead at 20 to 7. Hazel Tenaria, three for four from the foul line. Hard to Cormier. Walker on the baseline. Gets it out to Cormier, out high to Taylor. Finds Joyner, cutting doesn't go, par with the rebound. I believe they're gonna say Doyle held him before the shot. That'll be the second on J.R. Doyle, team fifth, and Williamsport will inbound. With 3.07 left in the half, Cougars up 13. On the Barber Ford of Hazelton scoreboard. Parr out at the top, gets it to Taylor. <laughs> Cormier 
swings it over to Taylor. Joyner looks to post up Kanzler. His turnaround jumper doesn't go, but an offensive put back the par, and he'll have a chance for a three-point play. Jordan Paul, strong on the boards. On the missed shot, Marty puts it back up for two, and he's going to the line. And bigger than that, Joe, third personal foul on Brian Fiore. Marty, that was Williamsport's first field goal in the last eight minutes and 13 seconds. Now with 2.40 left in the half, we'll have to see how Coach Live decides to play it with his senior point guard. He has three personals. Parr converts the three-point play. And Coach Leib is going to get Fiore out of the game. You definitely don't want him picking up four here in the first half. Smart move. He's up by 10. There's 2.40 left second quarter. Need to get him out of the ball game. And number 35, Glenn Farley, has checked in to the Hazel Tenario lineup. Now as a team, Hazel Tenario will have to take care of the basketball for the remaining couple minutes of the half. Gutsy's jumper is good. Justin Gutsy with five. 22-10, Hazel Tenario with the lead. One of the things right now, Hazel Tenario shooting the ball exceptionally well, both from the foul line and the floor. Taylor had it knocked away out of bounds off of him. Hazel Tenario basketball on the turnover. And a ball, the official uh, saw it, the ball hit. Taylor on the leg and rolled out of bounds. Gutsy bringing up the basketball, guarded by Bellis. Farley with it. Brings it up to Kanzler and he is fouled. Walker will pick up the foul. That'll be two on Adam Walker. Eighth team foul, Kanzler. Are we going to the line for a one and one? Again, Walker taking a chance on a steal. Collision, Kanzler goes to the line. And a great team performance thus far for Hazel Tenaria. And one of the things that shows that out, Russ Kanzler, leading scorer of this team, has a chance to score his first points of the night. Hazel Tenaria has been living by the three ball. Yeah, they're doing well at the foul line. Kanzler doesn't get that one to go. And Williamsport brings it back. Taylor taking it right to the basket. Great individual effort by Ronald Taylor for his first basket. And it's a 10-point Cougar lead. Great move by Taylor. Looked like he was going back outside. Then went to the baseline for the shot, and he made it. Penetrates. Wiener doesn't go. Tipped around. Rebounded by Kanzler. And I believe he was fouled. Kanzler was coming down with the ball off the rebound. Was fouled. Grabbed his arm. So he will go to the line, Marty. Fouls on Brody Colvin. His second. Team ninth. Colvin, Walker, and Joyner, and Cormier have two fouls apiece for Williamsport. Kanzler doesn't get the one and one to go, and it'll be Williamsport basketball. For Hazel Tenaria, Fiore is on the bench with three. J.R. Doyle has two personals. Colvin will sit down as Walker is back. Ten-point Hazel Tenaria advantage. Approaching a minute left in the half. Taylor right to the basket, doesn't go. Loose ball corralled by Doyle, and he calls a timeout to get the possession for Hazel Tenaria, a 30-second timeout. We want to let you know that WYLN, along with these fine businesses, are proud to show their support to the entire community by bringing the only live televised coverage of local and regional high school sports. Frame Oil Company, sales, service, installation. Frame Oil Company, 454-3523.
and by Third Base Luncheonette. Everybody loves a Third Base Hoagie. Third Base, Carson Street, Hazleton, 455-0631. And by Heights Terrace Pharmacy, the diabetes shop. Specializing in diabetic needs, Heights Terrace Pharmacy, 475 South Poplar Street, Hazleton, 454-8748. And on the Barber Ford of Hazleton, second quarter scoreboard, Hazleton area 22, Williamsport 12, 56.8 seconds remaining. Marty, with that in mind, we talked about a low scoring game being to Hazleton's advantage before this game started. And right now, this game again is playing into Hazleton's hands with 22-12. Justin Gutsy and his Cougar teammates look to take care of this basketball in the last minute of the half. Try to keep the double-digit lead hanging into the locker room. Gutsy back out to Farley. Farley penetrates. Shot is up, doesn't fall. Tipped around and still loose. Kicked out of bounds and it'll be Cougar basketball. 29.9 left on the first half clock. Again, Hazelton area doing a good job of using the clock. Taking some time off, had a pretty decent shot at the basket, didn't go. But they will, on the out of bounds, they will inbound at their end of the floor. Gutsy gets it to the Cosmo. And Gutsy will get it back and set up the offense. On the Barber Ford of Hazelton in scoreboard, a 10-point Cougar lead heading to the end of the first half. to Doyle, five seconds, they're going to have to hurry, tipped around, the Cosmo tries to save, and that, he won't go, it's halftime, Hazelton area 22, Williamsport 12, coming up at halftime, the GMP Communications halftime stats, we'll be back right after this. I love the computer. There's so much to do on the computer I could spend all day online. From email to movie tickets to looking up an old car. I even do my banking online. FNCB makes it so easy. I email people at the bank all the time and it's great that they get back to me so promptly. I feel very secure uh, using their website knowing that no one else is going to get my information. I really like this site. It's got a great look and it's easy to get around. As the first cable TV company in the United States, Service Electric Cablevision was a pioneer in the industry and continues to be an innovator in the business today, providing better quality and more reliable service by deploying fiber optic technology, offering digital cable with more choices for viewers, giving our customers faster access to the Internet with high-speed cable modems, continuing to support local schools and businesses with increased technology. Service Electric Cablevision, a locally owned company bringing the world of entertainment to you. Welcome back to the brand new Berwick Area High School Gymnasium. District 2 Quad A semifinal has the Cougars of Hazleton area with a 10 point lead over Williamsport. Thank you for joining us tonight on WYLN. I'm Marty Burns, joined by Joe DeMelfi, Jim Burns on the stats, and Joe with the score 22 12. Definitely a Hazleton area type score, and they have the 10 point advantage. I think that when we talked about that, and I mentioned it before, before the ball game, they can keep the score in the low 40s. I definitely think. It's to their advantage. Right now, they're heading toward that type of score. Secondly, right now at the line, Hazleton Aries, we're going to look at this when we get the stats later on, but I think they're three for six, whereas Williamsport is four for nine. So both teams shooting around 50%. We find that when you're in the playoffs, you really need to shoot at that 70 to 80% mark from the foul line to be effective and to keep you in the ball game. I think right now there's a little bit of frustration in the transition. Williamsport wants to get the ball up the floor, Marty. They want to set that offense and go. And Hazleton area is taking the air out of the ball, holding it a little longer. 
The other thing, Marty Hazleton has shot the three ball exceptionally well. I'm sure we'll see that also in the halftime stats. The GMP communications will be coming up a little bit later on here in halftime. And uh, as you mentioned, Joe, one of the little things that go overlooked in Hazleton area is getting back very well defensively in transition, not allowing Williamsport any easy baskets. Yeah, and Williamsport has tried to get up the floor several times for an easy basket. And again, as you mentioned, the Cougars are back on defense, playing very well defensively. Also, Williamsport plays a strong defense. Uh, again, Hazel Tenere has helped their cause with that three ball. We'll be back here in Berwick with the score. Hazel Tenere 22, Williamsport 12. $20 a day. $20 a day. $20. $20. $20 a day. You can advertise your business on television for just $20 a day. Get exposure like you've never imagined for just $20 a day. Television advertising can exploit your business like no other media. Utilize the power of picture and sound for just $20 a day. Call the WILN sales staff at 459-1869 today and let the power of local TV work for you. JB Cheerleaders for Holy Trinity School, and we want you to help us leap for a cure. Remember, the 26th Annual American Cancer Society Telethon takes place in just four days! Do you need up to $500 fast? Now you can get the cash you need without driving to a loan store. More bills than money? Just pick up the phone. Qualify in two minutes or less for up to $500. National Money Service can help you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. As one of the nation's largest providers of cash advances, we help thousands of people every day. Upon approval, money is electronically deposited directly into your bank account. You're welcome. The money you need will be in your account tomorrow. Thank you so much. What a relief. Let us help you with unplanned car repair bills, medical bills, household repairs, or anything else you need money for. So if you need up to $500 before your next paycheck, we can help. Call now. Call National Money Service now. The Can Do Community Christmas. The Helping Hands Telethon. High School Sports. The Harvest Moon Balloon Festival, First Night Hazleton, the American Cancer Society Telethons in Hazleton and Berwick, Little League Baseball, the Hazleton Christmas Tree Lighting Ceremony, Relay for Life, Fun Fest, the Christmas Boulevard, Community-Based, Community Pride, WYLN, bringing communities together through the power of local television. Welcome back to Berwick. Time for the GMP Communications Halftime Stats compiled by Jim Burns. All right, take a look at field goal from the floor. Hazleton 7 for 17, 41%. Williamsport 4 for 18. Have not been shooting well in the first half, 22%. 3.5 for 9, for over 50% for Hazleton. Williamsport are yet to make a three-point ball. We see free throws, 3 for 6 for Hazleton, 4 for 9 for Williamsport. Then rebounds, Hazleton area hanging in there with 12 rebounds, Williamsport 9. Offensive rebounds, 4 for Hazleton, 5 for Williamsport. And you see the turnovers, 8 for Williamsport, 4 for Hazleton. So you can see, Marty, they're sh Hazleton area shooting fairly well from the floor, but the three ball is definitely helping them at this point. And as we mentioned at the top, winning the turnover battle and doing a nice job on the boards as well. And brought on the boards offensively and defensively. They're not allowing Williamsport a lot of shots at the basket after the first shot, which is important. And that has been the GMP Communications Halftime Stats, compiled by Jim Burns with Hazel Tenaria leading 22 to 12 at the half. Hazel Tenaria led by Brandon DeCosmo with nine, Brian Fuhr six, and Justin Gutsy has five. Williamsport led by Jordan Parr with five and Leroy Joyner with four as we're just moments away from the start 
of the second half of this District 2 Quad A semifinal. Winner will face the winner of tonight's game between Abington Heights and Scranton. Saturday at a site and time to be determined for the District 2 Quad A championship with the winner advancing to the state tournament. We'll be back with the second half. Hazelton area up 10. We'll be back to Berwick right after this. You want to spend more time with your loved ones and your family and your friends down at the dinner table. You don't want to be spending it in the kitchen. So this is my style of Italian cuisine. Quick and easy, and you can see the outcome, how beautiful it is. And that's what it's all about, you know? I want to get you in the kitchen, and I want to get you out of the kitchen, how I said how many times before. Hi, we're the JB cheerleaders for Holy Trinity School, and we want you to help us leap for a cure. Remember, the 26th Annual American Cancer Society Telethon takes place in just four days! Cooking pasta is easy, but when it's time to drain, it's a pain. Stop! Introducing Pasta Pot Express, the perfect all-in-one cook strain and drain pasta pot. Watch, just cook your favorite pasta, lock on the Pasta Pot Express drain and strain lid, and in seconds you've strained and drained through the locking colander pot top. It's that simple. The Pasta Pot Express has a super non-stick surface, and it's not just a pasta pot. Now you can brown a pot roast and drain the fat with ease. Watch, the locking lid easily drains five pounds of carrots. Cook pounds of pasta plus all your favorite dishes. Order your Pasta Pot Express with Deluxe Recipe Guide direct for only $14.99 and get the personal pasta pot, spoon, grater, and chopper, a free gift pack. Pay only shipping and handling. Order now. To order your Pasta Pot Express gift pack, have your credit card ready and call this toll-free number or send your check or money order to the address on your screen. You can also use your checking account just like a credit card. Have your account number ready when you call. When a West Hazleton family was overcome by carbon monoxide fumes, 35 News was there. When a McAdoo man sprayed a Columbia County family's car with dangerous chemicals near Mifflinville, 35 News was there. When residential water runoff problems in Cunningham reached a boiling point, 35 News was there. And when National Guard troops left Berwick for duty in Iraq, 35 News was there. 35 News, your number one television source for local news, weather, and sports, only on WYLN. Welcome back to the brand new Berwick Area High School Gymnasium and on this Fat Tuesday some great basketball in the opener GAR came from behind to defeat Northwest 56-55 and here Hazelton area leading Williamsport 22 to 12 at the half. Thank you for joining us tonight on WYLN. I'm Marty Burns joined by Joe Demelfi, Jim Burns on the stats. Krugers will have the basketball to start this second half. They're in the white. They're going from right to left on your screen. They start this third quarter with Doyle, Kanzler, the Cosmo, Fior, and Gutsy. Marty, one of the things Williamsport's going to have to do better in the second half is shoot from the floor much better than they did the first half. Gutsy guarded closely by Taylor, gets it over to Fior. The Cosmo on the wing, looking inside for Kanzler. Controls it, shot is up and good. First basket for Russ Kanzler, and it's a 12-point Cougar lead. Job getting the ball into Kanzler. He's able to bounce it up. The defender missed the ball, and Kanzler put it up for the easy layup. Original starting five for Williamsport. Taylor, Cormier, Joyner, Walker, and Parr. Joyner at the top. Scored only four points so far tonight. Taylor, little leaner. Rolls in for a nice move for the basket for Good penetration. Yeah, Marty, he got deep penetration. No one cut him off. Made him a little short jumper. Fior guarded by Cormier. Goes behind the back. Finds a cutting gutsy shot. Doesn't go. May have had a block. And a rebound for Joyner. Looking for the foul. No call. Joyner pull up jumper off back rim. Tipped around and corralled by Walker. Taylor, he looks to penetrate. Left-handed shot doesn't go. Tipped up, gutsy with the rebound for the Cougars. 
Fior ahead to the Cosmo. Kicks it to Doyle. Basket is for J.R. Doyle with four off the bench. And it's a 12-point Cougar lead. Great job getting the ball. You talk about transition basketball. Hazleton exhibited a little bit of it there. Got it down very quickly. Doyle for the layup. Williamsport now patient with the basketball, setting up their offense. Parr on the wing. Taylor gets it back to Parr. Joyner looking for Walker. Nice pass inside to Jordan Parr. His basket is good. He's got seven to lead Williamsport. And it's 26-16, Cougars. Excellent job by Walker. Look, finding Parr underneath. Walker had the ball in the post, attracted a lot of attention. Parr was underneath, nobody with him. Fior gets it to Gutsy. Fior guarded closely by Cormier. Fior penetrates to the basket, and a block by Joyner. Well, with good penetration, once he got inside, they joined her right there, knocking it away. The Cosmo shot doesn't go, and a rebound for Parr. Taylor ahead. Jumper is up and good. Joiner with the basket. It's an eight-point Cougar lead. Williamsport now making the move. We're going to have a foul before the ball gets to mid-court line. That foul is going to be on Taylor, his second, team first of the second half. Cosmo gets a screen. Kicks it out to Kanzler. Look for the pass to Doyle. Shot is up, doesn't go. His putback doesn't fall. Joyner with the rebound. Good effort by Doyle on the putback. Just couldn't get it to go. Williamsport down by a 431 left, Marty. Third quarter. the top, we're going to have a foul, maybe on the Cosmo holding in the lane. Offensive foul, Marty. They're going to call it on Kansas. Wayne Sports ball. Well, pardon me on that. I thought they were calling the foul. I guess they said Kanzler pushed off. That'll be his first. And Williamsport down six can cut into it deeper. On the Stroman Mayor Bakery's third quarter scoreboard, 26-20, Hazleton area. Taylor got a screen. Looks for Walker. Taylor finds Walker cutting to the basket. Adam Walker with three, and it's a four-point Cougar lead. Great job finding Walker in the lane. And Bellis will be called for a foul. 
left here in the third, a four-point Cougar lead. Williamsport putting a lot of pressure out front, Marty, not allowing Hazleton area really to get the ball to the basket. To Cosmo, the Kanzler. Back out the floor to the Cosmo for three. Doesn't go par with the rebound. Taylor ahead to Bellis. Two points to the lead. Hazel Canaria takes a timeout. Tonight's boys basketball playoff on WYLN is brought to you in part by Yoakum's Pharmacy. Fast, accurate, friendly service. Yoakum's Pharmacy, East Broad Street, Hazleton, 454-1135. And by the law office of attorney Frank J. Suck Skakowski, 483 West Broad Street, Hazleton, 455-0307. And by Pecora's Dairy, the freshest and finest local dairy products. Pecora's Dairy, located at Pecora Road off Route 93, Cunningham, 788-3510. Pecora's Dairy products can also be found at your local grocer. Williamsport had to shoot better. Right now they are shooting about 70%. Hazleton area, on the other hand, is shooting about 30% here in the third quarter and no three balls. Marty, I have Hazel, Hazel Canary's last basket at 6.30 in the third quarter. So they have not scored in almost four minutes. Green Sports on a 10-0 run over the last three minutes and 49 seconds. And some more full court man-to-man -man for Williamsport. Fjord to the Cosmo, finds Kanzler. His pull-up jumper is good. Russ Kanzler has all four of his points here in the third. The lead is back to four, 28-24. On the Stroman Mayor Bacon scoreboard. You no, know, Kanzler's playing well defensively, doing all things he needs to do, but Hazel Canaria needs him to score points, Marty. Walker in the high post, finds Parr, basket good. Jordan Parr, six of his 11 here in the third, and it's 28-26, Hazel Tenaria. We're gonna have a foul in the backcourt against Williamsport. Again, Walker, great job finding Parr underneath. It's the second time in the last two or three possessions he's been able to do that. Bellis, his second, team third. Exactly two minutes remaining here in the third, and it's 28-26, Hazel Tenaria. some patience. A minute left in the third. Game tied at 28. Want to remind you, coming up at the end of tonight's game, Joe and I will select an Eagle Rock player of the game. 45 seconds and counting left in the third. like they're satisfied to wait for the last shot. Clock at 24. Fifteen seconds. Probably start to move about ten. Hard. Jump 
ball call. Possession out favors Williamsport. A second point nine left. Great anticipation by the Hazleton defender getting inside, tying up the Williamsport player. Taylor to inbound. Kicks it out to Joyner. At the horn, doesn't go. At the end of three, Williamsport 28, Hazleton area 28. Tonight's sport, special sports presentation on WYLN is brought to you by Lincoln Manor Personal Care, where we strive to provide the pers best personal care to all. Lincoln Manor Personal Care, Lincoln Street, Hazleton, 455-1086. And by Four Ball Flooring, manufacturers of floor covering, Four Ball Flooring, located in the Humboldt Industrial Park. And by HOME, Home Medical Oxygen Equipment Inc. Specializing in home medical equipment, oxygen equipment, and orthotic fittings, home medical oxygen equipment, Church Street, Hazleton, 459-4300. The seasons come and go, but here, in Pennsylvania Dutch country, time stands still. And in this tradition of care and quality, we created Stroman Dutch country bread and rolls. Like soft, fresh potato bread, 100% whole wheat, and Dutch country potato rolls, each an original recipe, all delicious. Look in the Dutch country section for the kind of bread you thought went out with the horse and buggy. Dutch country, only from Stroman. one sweet deal for you and your family. Introducing Papa's Cinna Pie from Papa John's. It's a six inch cinnamon pie baked in our own ovens and finished off with swirls of sweet glazed frosting. Now there's a sweet ending to a delicious Papa John's pizza. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. For a limited time, get our new Papa's Cinna Pie free when you purchase a large one topping pizza for just $9.99. Fourth quarter underway on the first National Community Bank scoreboard. Fiore gives Hazel today the lead back with a three, and he's got nine on the night. 31-28, Hazel area. First three by Hazel area in the second half. I believe J.R. Doyle picks up the foul. Party in the third quarter, Hazleton area shot three for 10 from four, Williamsport eight for 11. Rebounds, Hazleton area had two, Williamsport six. Turnovers, Hazleton area had two, Williamsport nothing. Zero, I talked about dominating the third quarter, Williamsport area did that. Joiner at the line to shoot two. Short on the first. Joiner goes one for two. He's got seven points on the night. Two point Cougar lead, 31 29 on the first National Community Bank scoreboard. Doyle gets it to Fiore, guarded closely by Cormier. Over to Gutsy. Kanzler on the wing. Taking it to the basket. One hand shot, rebounded by Parr. A minute into the fourth. Spin move by Taylor. Doesn't go. And rebounded by DeCosmo. Great rebound by DeCosmo. Very strong off the board. Looked like it was gonna, they were going to call jump off. The, the Cosmo came away with it. Gutsy to the basket. Doesn't go. Rebounded by Joyner. Again, Williamsport doing a nice job on the defensive board. Taylor ties the game at 31. First National Community Bank fourth quarter scoreboard. Approaching six minutes left in the fourth game, tied at 31 in this District 2 Quad A semifinal. Winner moves to Saturday to the championship game against the winner of having tonight's Scranton. Loser season will come to a close tonight.
District 2 Quad A will only get one team in the state tournament. That'll be decided Saturday, but still a lot of basketball left here in Berwick. Six minutes left in the fourth. Game tied at 31. Gutsy to Kanzler. Kanzler looking for a screen. Brings it out to Fior. He eludes Cormier. Finds Doyle underneath. Shot is up, doesn't go. Rebounded by Joyner. Didn't know whether to use the board or just make the shot. Did a little bit of both and missed that layup. Parr gets triple team, finds Walker. He is fouled. No shot. And the Cosmo looks to be shaken up. Came down hard on his right side, getting up. And he is up now. The third personal on the Cosmo and the team fourth. Now, I don't believe this is a shooting foul. They were waving it off, I thought. And they're making the Cosmo come out. Coach, uh, I don't know if he has blood on. Uh, somewhere, or because Coach Live came out on the floor to see to him, and making him sit down until a dead ball. The trainer's talking to, to Cosmo, but it is uh, an inbound, so he called the foul on the floor, not a shooting foul. Glenn Farley in for the Cosmo. Looking for par, and it's stolen away by Kanzler. Three on two for Hazel Tenere if they hurry. Fiore's jumper is good. It's a two, he is on the line. Brian Fiore with 11 to lead the Cougars. And they're back in the lead by 2, 33, 31. A walking foul. It's going to be called on J.R. Doyle. That's four personal fouls on J.R. Doyle. Obviously, the Hazleton crowd feel that should have been an offensive foul, but they called the block on Doyle. Joyner. Pulls back, takes the jumper, doesn't go, and a rebound for Brian Fior. And to Cosmo, head to the scorer's table. He'll check in next dead ball. Fior gets a Farley screen. Farley grabs the loose ball. Finds Fior. Slips down, gets it to Farley. Let's see. Finds Fior, sets for three, rebound Kanzler. He loses control, Gutsy shot doesn't go, and a rebound for Parr. Here come the millionaires in transition. Taylor, and it's out of bounds, he's looking for Walker. Down the floor, a little bit out of control, couldn't control the basketball. Out of bounds, Hazleton coming back with it. DeCosmo is back in. Farley sits down. You have that opportunity, Marty. You need to convert those points. Can't turn it over. 33-31, approaching halfway through the fourth. Doyle's pass is stolen. Here comes Joyner. And Joyner has a chance to put Williamsport in the lead. Again, there's a replay, transition basketball down the floor. He's going to draw the foul and make the shot. As you mentioned, Marty, the shot will, could put Williamsport in the lead. We're going to get a timeout 
on the floor. And we want to let you know that WYLN bringing local sports home to you with the help of the following businesses. General Vending Company, full line vending service. General Vending, 454-4693. And by Gregory N. Matz, agent for State Farm Insurance. State Farm, providing insurance and financial services to the greater Hazleton area. Gregory Matz, located in Harley, 454-1491. And by BNA Financial Services, located in Hazleton, call Joe at BNA Financial Services today, 459-1845. Foul shot. If Joyner can make the foul shot, it will be Williams Sports' first lead since they were ahead four to three at the 405 mark in the first quarter. That timeout was taken by Williams Sport. Millionaires have three left Hazelton area with two on the first National Community Bank fourth quarter scoreboard. 351 left in the fourth. Game tied at 33. Winner moves to the championship game Saturday in District 2 Quad A. Loser season is over. Joyner with a chance to give Williamsport the lead. He does, and he has 10 points on the night. 34-33, Williamsport. The order gets double teamed, but Kanzler has it. Gives it back to Fior. Finds Doyle. He's going to go baseline. Shot is up and good. J.R. Doyle gives the lead back to Hazleton area. 35-34. Doyle with six off the bench. Excellent job by Doyle. Went to the baseline. Strong move to the basket. Makes the shot. That's a shot that he missed uh, about a minute and a half to two minutes ago on a previous possession. Walker on the wing. Tenere up one on the first National Community Bank scoreboard. Under three minutes left there in the fourth. And Taylor will reset the offense. Down one. Plenty of time, Marty Williams. Sport area needs to look at a good look at the basket. And Parr was fouled. He'll shoot two. We talked about Parr having a good look. He did just a little bit too strong off the rim, but he will go to the line, see if he can put the millionaires ahead again. And a big foul for Hazel Tenaria. Brian Fior picks up his fourth personal. The senior point guard with four personal fouls. Parr leading the millionaires in scoring the night. Makes the first, ties the game. He's got 12 points. He had a big third quarter where he scored six of his 12. And he's looking to give Williamsport the lead right back. He does that. He's got 13, it's 36, 35, Williamsport. Gutsy finds Doyle. Back to Gutsy. Dior gets pressured. Ball was tipped, he could go in the backcourt to pick it up. Approaching two minutes left. Here in the fourth, to Cosmo for three. Most first three of the second half, Marty, and puts them up by two. It's a good time to get that touch back. Taylor to Walker at the top. Joyner. Looking for par inside. He gets triple two, and he ties the game. 15 points for Jordan Parr. Game tied at 38. Great job of finding Parr underneath. Gutsy gets it to go. Gutsy's got seven. Cougars back in the lead. 40-38. And a rebound for Kanzler. 
Williamsport got the ball down the floor very quickly, missed the layup. Great rebound by Hazelton. Semi-final on W Island is brought to you by Craig's Tire and Auto Service Center, your hometown service station for 57 years. Craig's Tire and Auto Service Center, 620 East Diamond Avenue, Hazelton 455-3801. And by John Cooligan Sun Inc., Notary Public. Tags, titles, all of your notary needs. John Cooligan Sun West Hazelton, 455-4185. And by the law office of Christopher B. Slusser, B.C., Butler Drive, Sugarloaf, 788-9529. We have one minute on the clock. Hazelton area up by two, 40 to 38. And Hazelton area will inbound. First National Community Bank scoreboard. One minute left. Hazelton area with the two point lead, and they'll inbound the basketball. Gutsy finds Fior. Williamsport needs the foul three more times before they put Hazelton area in the penalty. And Taylor will foul Gutsy, but they're gonna have to watch that score personals on Taylor. <laughs> Only the fifth team foul. Two more will put Williamsport in the penalty, and they're gonna make a sub. I think gonna get Taylor out, because he's got four personal fouls. Jones will replace him. Yeah, there's a couple things you have to think about. Number one, if you go to overtime, you, you don't want him out of the ball game. So with 52 seconds left, they made that substitution. The Cosmo is fouled, and Bellis comes up a little hobbled. That's how the Cosmo got open. I don't know if Bellis slipped and maybe turned his ankle. I think it looks like he did, Marty. But the Cosmo looked like he wanted to go to the basket, changed his mind at the last second, then Williamsport committed the foul. Next foul will put Hazel Teneri on the line for a one and one. Gutsy to inbound. And I bet you they're gonna look for Fior or Kanzler. Kanzler gets fouled. And Hazel Teneri will be going to the line for a one and one. And now you'll see Williamsport bring Taylor back in. You know, all the years we've been doing Hazel Teneri, Marty, we're You've seen them in close games where they go to the foul line. It's crucial for them to win the game, and they have that, had a great shooting percentage. Let's see if that can hold up for tonight. Hands are nothing but net on the first. A three-point lead. Big free throw here. Makes it a two-possession game if he can make it. Joyner hits the miss. And Williamsport will take a timeout. WYLN, along with these fine businesses, are proud to show their support to the entire community by bringing you the only live televised coverage of local and regional high school sports. Frame Oil Company, sales, service, installation. Frame Oil Company, 454-3523. And by Third Base Luncheonette. Everybody loves a Third Base Hoagie. Third Base, Carson Street, Hazleton, 455-0631. And by Heights Terrace Pharmacy, the diabetes shop specializing in diabetic needs. Heights Terrace Pharmacy, 475 South Poplar Street, Hazleton, 454-8748. Yoakum's Pharmacy, fast, accurate, friendly service. Yoakum's Pharmacy, East Broad Street, Hazleton, 454-1135. The Law Office of Attorney Frank J. Skakowski, 
483 West Broad Street, Hazleton, 4550307, and by Pecora's Dairy. The freshest and finest local dairy products, Pecora's Dairy, located at Pecora Road, off Route 93, Cunningham, 788-3510. Pecora's Dairy products can also be found at your local grocery. Marty with Williamsport having the ball here. They're down by three. Work the ball, look for the three ball, or else get the ball inside quickly here for a two-point shot, and then play strong defense for the turnover. You have 45.7 seconds. Taylor will bring the basketball up. He'll be guarded by Gutsy. Parr tipped out of bounds. It'll remain with Williamsport. 36.3 left here in the fourth. Hazelton area up three. Cormier will go out. Bellis back in for Williamsport. Approaching half a minute left on the first National Community Bank fourth quarter scoreboard. Cougars up three. Parr inside, doesn't get it to go. Rebound by DeCosmo, and he's fouled by Walker. Went inside, Bellis missed it. Good rebound by DeCosmo. He's going to have a chance to help Hazleton Area's cause in a big way here with 23.7 seconds left in the ball game. Brandon DeCosmo will have a chance to give Hazleton a two-possession advantage. They're up three, a one-and-one one for Brandon DeCosmo. He hits the first. needs to get the ball up quickly here. Joiner, good. And a timeout will be taken. Down three is Williamsport. 43-40. They have one timeout remaining. Marty, Williamsport needs to play a strong defense or foul right away. Now in the second half, uh, Hazel Teneri doing a nice job at the line. Now in the second half. And Joe, I know a lot of the basketball fans uh, are wondering out there. Uh, we'll let them know right now, due to the fact that we'll be televising the American Cancer Society Telephone this weekend in District 2, holding all their championships on Saturday for both boys and girls. We will be unable to televise any District 2 championship this coming weekend. So check your local papers for the sites of all of these games. Promising to be exciting district championships this coming weekend. I'll tell you what, we've had two good ones tonight, Gordy. We had the second half of that GAR Northwest game, and uh, it was a barn burner. And this one is definitely a, a good basketball game. Hazelton area to inbound. Gutsy gets it to Fiore, and he'll be fouled. And Joe, the last time we had Hazel Tenere, I did something to Brian Fiore, and I told his father, but I won't do it again, so you're not going to hear anything out of my mouth. I right understand now. completely. Brian Fiore, the senior point guard, 11 points on the night. Done a great job handling this Williamsport pressure, as has all of his Cougar teammates. Fiore hits the first. Back to a two-possession game for Williamsport. Trailing by four, 13.8 remaining on the clock. Fiore hits both. Time running down. Taylor takes the jumper. Doesn't go, tipped up, doesn't go. Joyner has it, he'll take a three, but Hazel Perea is gonna win the game. 45.
started, we talked about the scores being in the 40s, and there you see it. They had to keep it, low scoring game. Cougars did that, and walked away with a 45-40 victory. And let's give Williamsport credit. They were down 10 at the half, and they battled back to tie the game at portions in the fourth quarter, took one point leads, but Hazel Tenaria battled back, got the lead back, never looked back, winning the game 45 to 40 over Williamsport. Marty, the last six free th throws, five for six for Hazel Tenaria. And the Cougars will face either Abington Heights or Scranton, depending on how that game turns out Saturday. And Joe, as we mentioned earlier, the always famous site and time to be determined. To be determined. I'll tell you what, Marty, both ball games tonight were, were excellent games. Uh, the first one with Northwestern GAR and GR winning in the last seconds on Shovelin's three ball. And this game, a very balanced attack by Hazel Tenary. They played strong defense. They shot the ball well. They, they hit a drought in the third quarter, Marty, but they came back in the, late in the fourth quarter and hit a shot well from the free throw line and hit a couple of three balls. And what a way for this brand new Berwick Area High School gymnasium to be christened with two outstanding high school basketball playoffs in this doubleheader. And what you mentioned, GAR came back, and I think a lot of people were thinking, well, boy, Williamsport may come back and take this game away. But Hazel Tenaria fought and won the ball game. Marty, three-point field goals. Hazel Tenaria, seven for 14, 50%. Williamsport, zero for eight. They did not hit one three ball all evening. Williamsport in their final game of the season, led by Jordan Parr with 15. Leroy Jordaner had 12. Hazel Tenaria off the four threes by Brandon DeCosmo, led them in scoring with 14. Point guard Brian Fior had 13. As we mentioned, Hazel Tenaria will go to a game Saturday. Sight and time to be determined. And it is now time for our Eagle Rock player of the game. And we went with Joe, the senior, Brandon DeCosmo. Four threes on the night, led the team in scoring with 14. And it just seemed when he hit the threes, he hit them at key stretches in the ball game when Hazel Tenaria needed a lift. And also made two for two from the foul line in the last 48 seconds. And came away with a couple of big rebounds late in the ball game. Brandon DeCosmo, nice ball game by all of the Cougars. Brandon DeCosmo, our player of the game. We thank Eagle Rock for being our sponsor all season long for the Eagle Rock player of the game. Brandon the Cosmo led the Cougars with 14. Hazel Tenary, as we mentioned, will move to Saturday to face either Scranton or Abington Heights. And, of course, sight and time to be determined. I ask you to look in your local papers to find out when and where on Saturday Hazel Tenary will compete for a District 2 Quad A championship. And once again, for the fans, uh, unfortunately, with our commitment to the American Cancer Society airing their telethon this coming Saturday and Sunday here on WYLN, all day, both Saturday and Sunday, we invite you to tune in and uh, uh, donate some money to the American Cancer Society, a great cause. Our, the telethon will air this coming Saturday and Sunday, but due to that fact, we will not be airing any of the District 2 championship basketball games on this coming Saturday. So as we mentioned, please check your local papers and uh, get out to the games. Uh, if it's anything like tonight, Joe, exciting District 2 championship sure basketball. Sure, I'll tell you why. You have four teams tonight, all of them well coached, good athletes playing both offense and defense. Uh, excellent ball games. And it is now time to say goodbye from the new gymnasium at Berwick Area High School. And you see the back of our director, Joe Martin. Joe, good luck in Nevada. Great work.